Esme and uh, Leslie, thank you very much for coming in and have, have a, a marvellous time on this fellowship. Many thanks. Frank. What a lovely prospect. Let's hope they all have a smashing time. Now, the British motor industry isn't exactly renowned these days for its smooth running and its happy working atmosphere. But, you know, not all the British car manufacturers are dogged by strikes and industrial troubles. Sue Cook has been to visit one small car works in Oxfordshire, where there's no trade union, there's never been a strike, the cars are all ready, right on time, and you can even order in advance any personal, individual requirements on colour, style and design that you might happen to fancy. It's so difficult choosing a new car these days, isn't it? They all look so much the same. Same colours, same models, same plastic seats. I don't know. You see hundreds of all these cars on the road every day. Don't you sometimes wish for something just a little bit different? Something with a bit of character. Something individual that nobody else has got. <laughs> Barchetta, handcrafted onto an original Bentley chassis with a rebuilt four and a half litre engine and all the style and smoothness you'd expect from Bentley. The bonnet seems to stretch yards in front and the engine so quiet all you can hear is the wind. Well, these cars are built here in Oxfordshire, only a few miles down the road from that rather better known motorworks at Cowley. And this is the latest creation from the Malinue workshops here in Abingdon. The manufacturers are a small family business, started by Derry Malilieu, an engineer and keen racer of Bugattis. Since his death in 1976, his family and a small team of 20 mechanics and craftsmen have been carrying on the business. These cars come from no ordinary production line. Well, this is the start of that production line, an old Mark VI Bentley, about 20 or 30 years old, which they may have had to pay up to £2,500 for. And unlike most cars built in those days, the engine and the gearbox have far outlasted the bodywork, which is uh, almost rusted away completely. What they do now is cut away completely the bodywork, leaving just the chassis and the engine, which is totally rebuilt. It takes five months to turn this basic chassis into a gleaming new Malilieu Barchetta. Everything that's built onto it will be handmade by craftsmen. 50 separate aluminium panels, 200 feet of steel tubing, four complete hides for the leather seats and the rest of the upholstery, and 100 hours rebuilding the original engine, all going to transforming that rusty old Bentley into a brand new and unique motor car. The final design of each car is the culmination of ideas and experiments from every one of the employees on the workshop floor. It's a principle actively encouraged by Pauline Hodson, daughter of the founder, Derry Malilieu, who now runs the business with her husband. Each one is uh, built more or less to the customer specification, certainly interiorly. And uh, some of them are four-seaters, and some of them are two plus twos, so that uh, is slightly different to and begin no with. no two are the same? No, no two are the same. Uh, we boast that, in fact, we fit the car around the customer. And, for instance, we have one customer who's six foot three, I think, and he comes in for fittings with seats. And we have a very small lady who's about five foot two, and her husband's about six foot, so we have to do that sort of thing with the seats. So what are the sort of special requirements do particular customers ask for? Uh, well, this one has a golf bag on the back, because uh, the person who owns the car likes to play golf. And uh, we're building one that's going to have trunks behind the luggage bag. Do you ever get asked for cocktail cabinets and that sort of thing? Yes, in fact, we're building one with a cocktail cabinet. It has to. We've got the bottle of champagne somewhere around and the glass, and we're building it around those. <laughs> so really, they're a kind of rich man's toy, aren't they? I think it's the ultimate gift. <laughs> yes. Yes, I think it is. The family say they have some trouble, though, finding people like these with the right skill and enthusiasm. People like Roy Walker, for example, who gave up a £1,000 a month job in Saudi Arabia and came to work here. I enjoy building these cars. It's something that I like to do. It's interesting. I'm never caught not doing anything. I'm always working. And uh, I'm involved in the company quite deeply, you know, looking for things and always coming up with new ideas. 
Gary Cato left a research job in the engine laboratory of a major oil company. He rebuilds the engines. We all work together. Um, for instance, if I get held up on engines, it holds a body shop up. So we all have to sort of work together as a, as a network and as a team. Mostly, the company concentrates on the Barchetta. But managing director Noel Hodson's personal favourite is the Oxford. This car is the most expensive car we build. It's the uh, top of our range. It's £3,000 more expensive than the, the next car down, which is the Barchetta. So what are your plans for the future and your hopes? Well, this particular range of models, which um, are based on uh, Bentley chassis, uh, we can probably continue making for about the next five years. And in those five years, we'll develop another model based on uh, a similarly uh, uh, exclusive car. Because you're going to develop a Bentley chassis? Well, these chassis are uh, 25 to 30 years old, and eventually they, they, they won't exist any longer. Are you hoping to export more? Most of our sales in the coming year will probably be export, but we've had uh, a surprise in the UK market. Uh, taking something like 80% of our last six months' orders in the UK. There's just one more consideration, the price. I think it would take me rather longer than the five months it takes to build one of these to save up the £20,000 or more it costs to buy one. Like this coach. This is only borrowed, you know. <laughs>